who are the owners? Who are the minority owners? We know the Steinbrenners have the controlling stake. Uh, well, there's a host of minority owners, limited partners in the mm -hmm. team. We don't know who is selling this particular stake, though. But we did get the teaser that it's out there, that teasers are sent to bankers who might have clients for the purchase. So we got a hold of that. We do know it's on the market. We're just not sure who share of the team it is. How do you market 1% of the Yankees? And can more than one person bid? Or is this going to be sold as a, as a, a complete entity in itself? Sure, this is like an auction. Sure, if more than one bidder wants to get in on this, they'd love to drive the price up. Yeah, how do you bid on it? No, or what how I do mean you is, can, will they split the 1%? No, 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 no. no. Yeah. This is, they'll, they'll sell the full 1% as is. But it's the New York Yankees. Uh, there's myriad reasons why people would like to be involved. Just say they own a piece of the most prestigious North American sports team out there. With uh, the exception of the Mets, yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> some, some LPs use it as a training ground for a future purchase of a majority ownership of a team. Some use it in their core business. They think it's cool to be able to close a business deal maybe in center field or bring them in the clubhouse. It's something else they can do that their competitors can't. And so there's of course, plenty of reasons. Stakes, I imagine, don't come up too often. They, they come up every now and then for the Yankees because there's uh, estate planning issues. So people do dump either a piece of their stake or the whole thing every now and then. But a full 1% of the Yankees, what is, what's most interesting here, though, is the valuation of the team. You get a yes. glimpse into the valuation of the club. So there, it's been marketed as a $300 billion franchise, or $1 million franchise, right? A $3 billion franchise. $3 billion, sorry, $3 billion franchise. And the portion, $24 million. Explain how we came to that. There's a 20% discount. Yeah, the, the, the seller is offering a 20% discount because it's a limited stake. Now, LPs and pro sports teams, there's a famous quote from John McMullen, who used to be an LP in the Yankees years ago under George Steinbrenner, when he said, nothing is more limiting than being a limited partner to George Steinbrenner. You don't get a lot of say <laughs> in operations. Sometimes you don't even get tickets, believe it or not. You could pay and not even get tickets. So it's really, it's a play in the prestige factor. You say, I have this as an asset. But because of that, it's being discounted by 20%. That brings you down to $2.4 2 then 1% of that, there you go, $24 million. Yeah. Now, you, nothing to do with the Yes Network either, right? This nothing to do with the Yankee Stadium, nothing to do with the Yes Network, which is majority owned by Fox these days. No, this is just strictly the team as an asset. All right. Well, any, uh, any clues as to who might be wanting to bid? No, we don't know yet. Now that it's on the market and people know about it, uh, I don't know why they we're trying to keep it quiet to begin with if you want to sell something, but more, more bidders means a higher price. But you can be sure there will be plenty of interest because it is the Yankees. Well, I'm sure you'll find out first.